I'm Nick Moore and this is a short introductory video on the new VS84 UT. The VS84 UT is an 8x4 4K60 420 audio video presentation system with integrated range extension and integrated master control. The VS84 UT switches video, embeds audio and sends the signal to both HDMI and HDBase-T outputs. The HDBase-T outputs have PoE and support USB. As there are no controls on the front of the unit, let's have a look at the back. Starting at the top row at the left, there are two infrared inputs, four infrared outputs on terminal blocks, and next to that we have four GPIOs, and eight relays on terminal blocks. Moving further to the right, we have the four RS-232 ports, an RS-485 port, and Knet for connecting to other Kramer control devices. Besides that, we have dip switches that control the termination of the control. We have a dip switch for programming use and the programming USB port. There are two sets of 3.5mm jacks for IR tunnelling over the HDBase-T inputs 7 and 8 and the HDBase-T outputs 3 and 4. Next to that are GPIO blocks for future use and dip switches for future use. Next we're looking at the matrix inputs. You can see the six HDMI inputs and two HDBase-T inputs making up the eight digital video inputs and above them are the associated audio inputs. There are four balanced stereo inputs which can also be configured as eight balanced mono mic inputs and four unbalanced stereo inputs. To the right of those are HDMI output 1 and 2 and HD base T outputs 3 and 4, making up the four digital video outputs. Above them are two balanced stereo audio outputs and the master loudspeaker output. In the control section, we can see two RS-232 ports. The bottom port controls the machine, the VS84UT, whilst the top port allows RS-232 to be tunnelled either to the HDBase-T output ports or one of the HDBase-T input ports. The first set of USB ports allows USB clients to be connected via the HDBase-T inputs or outputs. The second set allows a USB host to pass data via the HDBase-T inputs or outputs. Moving on, we have the two RJ45 sockets for Ethernet control of the VS84UT and for passing through the HDBase-T inputs and outputs. Finally, we have the mains power socket and the on-off switch. It's obviously important to connect the correct voltage to the unit. For more information on the VS84UT and its larger sibling, the VS88UT, please visit our website. Thank you for watching.